how to build an interactive image chart in Excel. This is what we're gonna see in today's video. And whenever you change any values, whenever you update your data set, your table, as you can see, the chart is gonna be automatically updated for you. So this is a really good chart that you can use into your presentations, into your reports, into your dashboards. I really hope this video can help you out. And you're gonna basically need two things. The first one, a data set, a simple one, a simple table. And the second thing that you need is image to just insert in each one of the columns. But it's pretty much simple to do. You don't need to use the same data set that I'm using here. You can use your own data set. Here, I'm basically compare each one of the salesperson against which other, who sold the most. I want to see it through a chart. And I just built this beautiful chart in Excel. But you can also compare, let's say, what is the products that you have into your stock that just sold the most. Or you can compare, uh, let's say, each one of the, the projects that you just done that give you the most profit, for example. So you can compare things with the column chart. And of course, you can input images into your columns chart. In each one of the columns, you can insert a different image. So let's find out how can you do it step by step. Let's go. The first thing that we need is to have a data set. And as I said before, you don't need to have the same data set that, uh, as I am using here. So you can have your own data set. But here, I'm comparing the salesperson and who just sold the most, for example. So I'm gonna just select this first column with the categories and the second one with the values. And then I can click here, insert. I can select, let's say a column chart, and then I can click and the chart is already on the screen. I can just click and hold and move the chart up a little bit. And I can also click here in the circle and increase the area of the chart like this, for example, to make sure the chart is a little bit bigger, for example. Now I can click here in the title. I can read it off the title. I can also read it off these white lines, so I can click and delete. And I can also read it off these values here to the left, delete. Okay, now with the chart selected, instead of using the values that we had in the left, I can insert the values just here down below in the column. So let me click here in the chart design, here to the left, add chart element, and then data labels inside base, for example. Now I can right click in the value and format data labels. Let's say here, instead of using two decimal numbers, I'm gonna read it off the decimal numbers because that way you can save space into your chart. So let me click here in the number and then instead of using the category general, I'm gonna change to currency and I'm gonna use zero decimal places. Enter, but now let me click here in the column, for example, and then I can go to the gap width and I can change it to maybe 75%, for example, or a little bit uh, higher, so 100% maybe. Okay, I think it's good. Now we can close it. Now let me just click in the values again and make it bold. And I can change also the font color, for example. I can use a white one. I can put it in bold and I can increase a little the font size, like 11, for example. I think it's much better now. Now it's time to insert, to put the image just above, just over the columns that we have. And to do it, let me select again the second column that I have, where I have the values, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl C. I'm gonna select the chart, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl V. That way, as you guys can see, I basically duplicated the, the columns that I had. So now I have two columns, the blue one and the orange one. But the orange one is the one that you're gonna use as image, for example. And of course, instead of using columns, here we can use lines, for example. And in each point of the line, for example, we can insert the image itself. So let me just right click in the chart and then I go to change a chart type. And then here, combo chart, I'm gonna select and I'm gonna use the total, the blue, the blue column as a column chart, for example. And the orange one I'm gonna use as line. Okay, now we can click okay. And we are almost done, but it's something that we can do here. Let's say, select this value right here and read it off, delete it. Now I can right click in the line and I can go to format data series. And here to the right, I can click here in the fill and line. I'm gonna choose no line. And here marker, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna select mark options. I can just select here building and I can choose any type here. And uh, let's increase a little bit the size, like 20 for example. But it doesn't matter the size that you just choose because the image is not gonna follow the size of the marker that you have, okay? I just increased the size of the marker because it's easy to click. Now it's time to input the images into your column chart here in Excel. 
to put the images here in the spreadsheet, I can click here, insert, and then illustrations, pictures, and for example, placeover cells, or just select this device, and then you can click here. Now Excel is gonna open for you uh, the files that you have into your computer. You can use any type of images, okay? Here I'm using some images of the employees of the company, and I'm gonna select everyone here. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag to select everyone. Now we're gonna click here, insert, and as you guys can see, the images are already here in the screen. Something that I can do to make sure I can put all the images in the same size, for example, with the, all the image selected, I can click here, picture format, and I can, let's say, change the size and put two for everyone, for example, and then I'm gonna press enter. Now all the images have the same size. I can also decrease a little bit, I can make it smaller, so let me do it again, picture format, and I'm gonna decrease a little, so one and a half, one, let's see, a little smaller, like 07, for example, 0.7, I think it's good. Now it's time to put all the images that I have in, within each one of these markers. But before we do it, we can still make some changes in the image. So for example, I can select all the images that I have. I can just select the first one and then I can press the control key, select the second one. And with the control key still holding, I can select this, the third one, the fourth one, and so on and so on. So I select here all the images. Now let's say I can go here to the picture format and I can choose, let's say a picture style, for example, this one right here. Reflected round rectangle. I think this one is good. And one thing that I, I always like to do here, I'm gonna click in picture effect, shadow. I'm gonna choose a shadow here. Again, in picture effect, reflection, no reflection. And the last thing, picture border. I'm gonna choose a black one. And again, picture border, weight, uh, half, okay, for example. Okay, now I think the images are good. So as you guys can see, I'm no, no longer using anymore the original image. I just make some change. I put here a black border. I just make the corners a little bit rounder. And I, of course, include here a shadow in each one of the images. Now, let's say I can select the, the Anna image because the Anna is the first column that I have here. The Anna is this one right here. And then I can Control C. I can select just the marker that uh, is belong to Anna. So instead of using, instead of selecting all the marks that I have, I'm gonna click again to confirm just this marker and then Control V. That way I just copy and paste the Anna picture here. And then the next one is Kevin. Kevin is this one right here, Control C. Select this orange marker, Control V. And I'm gonna do it for all the markers that I have. I'm gonna pause the video and I came back in just one second. Okay guys, I done here. And one thing that we can do with the image, uh, you can of course select all the image and read it off the image, or you can also select everyone, just put it over the chart, and then you can right click it, and then send to back. That way you make sure all the images now that you have is underneath the chart. That way you can see the image that you just use to make here the chart, but the chart is done. So anytime you change any values, you're gonna see that the chart is gonna be automatically updated for you. And just one last change that we can do here. Let's put some shadow and some borders here into our chart. So let me select the chart again and then format I can click here, shape outline, select a black one or let's say a gray one and shape effects, shadow, I'm gonna choose the first option. Okay, now I'm done. As you guys can see, let's say I'm gonna change here the pole value, uh, now it's 35,000, I'm gonna change to let's say 70,000 for example and then I'm gonna press enter. As you guys can see, the chart is automatically updated for me whenever I change any value here in my data set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and suggestions to the next video, let me know, comment down below, and I hope you, this chart can help you out into your presentations, your dashboards, your reports, and so on, so on. Okay, I'll catch you tomorrow because every day has a new video.